I'm going to play solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you want to follow along with scoring, there's a link to this player reference with scoring in the middle. There's also on the back a little bit about how to play. So you're welcome to download that from my website. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to these platforms. We're going to say that it's the East Round. And I'm going to deal the tiles. 14 to East and then 13 to southwest and north. Okay, so let's see what we can do for these players. Let's say for this game that there is a two fawn minimum. Two fawn. If we can get a pung of white dragons, that would be one fawn right there. Dragons are very nice. For east, player one, I think we should probably play all pung. A pung is three of a kind. There's a pung right there. So they would need to pair up at least twice more to get ready. They have a pair here, that's a potential pung. Pair here, potential pung, and then they got a pung right there. For south, they have their seat wind, south. They also have the wind of the round. As single tiles though, that's not gonna help. We'd have to pair those up to get score and then Pung it, of course, which is a three of a kind. They do have two pair here, and they have more BAMs than they do any other suit. So I think what I would do here, let's look at the Chow potential. One, there's a pair, potential Chow, pair. There's a Chow right there, two, three, four, potential Chow. Because they could play all Chow, which is one fawn, and right now they have no flowers. I think I would just wait and see what happens, even with the first pick. If we picked a, a BAM, I'd probably go ahead and sacrifice the dots. If we picked a Chow tile in here, I probably would play all Chow. If we picked a South or an East, I'd probably go for the Seat Wind or the Wind of the Round and go for all Pung. So it really just depends on the picking for South. So let's see now what we can do for West. They have a one flower. That is the flower for east. So this is not gonna help them in regards to score. We will get a replacement from the back of the wall. They have got lots of cracks. Look at all these cracks. And they have their a west, which is their seat wind. They do have a pung of sevens. They're in a similar situation as uh, south, I think. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. And now let's see what we can do with North. Woo! They have a three flower. That is not their flower either. So that's not gonna help them with score. Oh, they just got a four flower. That is gonna help, because they are seat four. And this is their seat flower, so they're gonna get score for that. One fun already. Woo! Okay, ooh, look at this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. pair of red dragons. That could be their second fawn. For north, I would try for a half flush, maybe even all pung. That would be three fawn for half flush, three fawn for all pung, that'd be six. Seven for a pung of dragons, eight for their own seat flower. That's gonna be a nice score if they can get there fast enough. 
let's discard and start the game. One dot for east. And we're going to draw for south. Oh, okay, they paired up with an east. That's kind of what I was thinking. I would think all pung for them. They'd have three pair right now. Let's discard this two dot and draw for west. Six bam. That's a good chow tile. There's a potential chow, potential chow. There's a potential, lots of potential here. This seven dot is isolated. Let's discard that. And draw four north. Two crack. That's not helpful. Let's go ahead and discard the seven dot. And draw four east. Five dot. That is discard for them. We want cracks or pair up. We need to pair up. Let's draw for south. Nine dot, ugh. Let's discard the nine dot. And draw for west. Eight dot, nobody wants dots. Drawing for north, seven crack. Oh, drawing is not going well. Okay, we've got a mixture here. Let's discard the one crack. Drawing for east, two dot, discard, there's already one out. Drawing for south, six crack. Ugh. Okay, let's discard the six dot. There's already sevens out, seven dots and an eight dot, so chow potential is way down. Green dragon, that might help with a half flush. Half flush is one suit with winds and dragons. Let's get rid of this three bam and draw four north, south. Okay, let's get rid of two crack. And we can draw for east. Four dot. Okay, that could help with a pung. Here's a pair, pair, pung, pair. So they just need to pair up one more time. Let's discard the one crack and go for all pung, all three of a kind here. All three of a kind with a dragon pung. So that would be four fawn. Three fawn for all pung, one fawn for a dragon, which is not bad. Let's draw for south. White dragon, maybe that'll help later, I don't know. I think we want to try to get them to either all pung or half flush. Let's, let's discard the four dot because we could use this for chowing. Um, four dot would be a pung for east, pung. And we can discard nine crack. And let's draw for south. Two flower, they just got their own flower. This is seat one, seat two, flower two. So they just got their own flower. That's going to be worth a fawn for them. Two fawn and, or two, two crack. And uh, two crack has been discarded, so let's go ahead and discard that. And we can draw for west. Okay, now two crack. If they are going to play a half flush, let's go ahead and chow it and commit to a half flush. And then we can discard the six bam. Let's draw for, oh, this is out of order. There, drawing for north. One flower, that's not helpful for them. But we get a replacement. Three crack, that's a pair. Maybe we could use it, maybe, maybe. I like going for half flush. That's my favorite hand, half flush. We're going to draw for east. Five dot, discard. Drawing for south. Oh, they got a south. Okay, that is their seat. South, east, south. So they, if they pung here, pung here, 
We've got a potential pung, chow, potential chow. Let's get rid of the six crack. I think their half flush might just come in. Let's draw for west. Seven crack. Okay, that, that's good. We can maybe get them to a half flush. Let's get rid of this eight ban. Because we could still pung this if they pair up more. They already have a chow though. You do not want to mix chows with another suit. That will drive their score down by three. We're going to have to sacrifice this and play half flush for them. This is the last tile for the second wall. Green dragon. Oh, nice. Let's discard the seven crack. Seven crack. Okay. Last uh, tile for the second wall. We're heading into the third wall. We're going to draw four east, two crack, that's a discard. Drawing four south, five bam, that's a keeper for half flush. Sure seems like they have a lot of tiles here. Nope, that's the right number. Four on each side, five in the middle. That way you don't have to count every single tile. We're going to discard the four crack, sacrifice the off suit, go for half flush. Let's draw four west. Three dot, that is a discard for them. And we will draw four north. Three bam, that's a keeper for half flush. Okay, pair, 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 potential pones all. And here too, let's sacrifice this three crack and get them to a half flush. We can draw now for east. Four dot, that is a discard. Oh, you know what? That's their Kong tile. We're going to Kong it. That's a four of a kind. And they drew a five. Bam. That is a potential Pung. We can get rid of this eight or six Bam here. And now probably we'll have to get rid of this East next. Let's draw here. Now here we have a five or a five, six, seven. One, two, three, or this could be a pair. So if we threw the six bam, if we threw a six bam, we could chow, but that would leave, we could actually chow. Let's just count. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks. Pwn, pwn. I wanna, I wanna try to pwn these two though, cause we could get score for each of those. I think I would rather, one, two, three, four. I think I would rather not chow and draw because they do have a chow here, chow here, isolated, potential pwn, potential pwn. One, two, three, four blocks, and then of course a pair. They need to get a pair in here. But they are one away from a half flush. If we chowed that, that would leave an isolated tile. We already have a chow using that tile. Or we could chow with these and leave it potential chow. Let's see here. I think I would rather stay concealed. We got a six bam, we drew it anyway. Okay, well that worked out nice. Four crack, discard. So now we have a two, three, four, four, five, six, potential chow, two pair. Let's see what happens. We're gonna draw four west, two dot. That's a discard. Drawing four north, seven dot is a discard. We will draw four east, four crack, that's a discard. Drawing four south, one dot, discard. Drawing four west, two bam, we can discard that. Two bam, that's a chow right here. Or we could wait and do pones, which is more valuable. Although there are a lot of exposures out right now. We have one, two, three, four blocks.
one, two, three, four. No matter how you slice it, there's four. But all three of a kind is worth three fawn versus a half flush only because of chows would take it down by three. Let's draw five dot. That was disappointing. Let's draw four east three dot. Drawing four west red dragon. Okay, here's two, three, four, four, five, six, potential chow. We really don't need any of these. Let's discard the white dragon for south. That would be a pone for east. Pung. Pone is for Japanese mahjong. Pung is for Cantonese style. Let's discard the east. The east, we're going to pung for south. Pung. Discard the red dragon. And we're going to pung for north. And we'll discard, let's discard the three crack. Okay, now this player is ready to win on a four bam or a five bam. This player is ready to win on a five bam or an eight bam. This player has work to do potential chows in here. This player has is ready to pung. So let's draw for east. Six crack is a discard. No, nobody can take it, so we're going to draw for south. Nine bam. That's not helpful. We have a six seven. This is called a side weight where we can win on either a five bam or an eight bam. That's a better weight than a closed weight, which is here where we need just an eight bam in the middle. So this nine bam was not helpful. We're gonna discard that for south. And draw for west. White dragon, they're all out, so we'll discard that. It's a safe tile. And we can draw for north. Eight bam. Oh wow, look at that. Pair, 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 pair. They need to they need to pung. Okay, let's discard the south. That is not their seat, so it can't bring them any score. They're ready to pung though. Okay, so south can pung. They have a pair. So now they have a pung of their seat wind. And they have some nice score going on there so far. We're gonna discard two, three, four. Let's see, two, three, four, four, five, six. There's one, two six bams are out. Let's discard the six bam. So they're ready to win on a seven bam or a four bam. They can go either way or here's a five. They could win on a seven bam or if we put that together, they can win on a four bam for their pair or they could win on Let's see, a one bam, because this could be the pair then. So they could win on a one bam, four bam, or seven bam. That is one of the nice things about being in one suit. Lots of flexibility with number tiles. Let's draw four west. Two bam. That is a discard for them. Now all these players have lots of apparent score and exposures. Let's go ahead and chow and speed this up for north. Take a lower scoring hand to try to win before anybody else. Let's discard the green dragon. Nobody can take the green dragon. That was lucky. Let's draw four east. Six dot is a discard. Drawing four uh, south. Three dot is a discard. We'll draw four west. Two flower. It's not their flower, but takes away the opportunity for score from south. Let's see what they picked as a replacement. Nine dot. Not good. Okay, nine dot. We're going to draw four north. Three crack. 
Drawing four east, four flower. So they just lost a point because they had no flowers before. Now they have a four flower, which is not theirs. Eight dot, that's a discard. And we'll draw four south. Green dragon, that's not helpful. They have a lot of good flexibility. We're just waiting for the right bam there. Green dragon, okay, there's pear right there. Now there's a pung of red dragons, so we can discard that safely. So it's looking a little better for them, but they're kind of behind the curveball, I think. Let's draw four north, seven dot. And we can draw four east, eight dot. Drawing four south, nine dot. Drawing four west, five crack. That was a good tile for them. All right, let's get rid of the seven bam. So it's looking better. We need a pung of green. There's one, oh, no, there's two out. That's gonna have to be their pair. There are two green dragons out right now. So this is gonna have to be their pair. So they have a west pair, potential chow, poten uh, here's a pair or potential pung, five, six, or that could be a chow. There's some flexibility in there. We're gonna draw for north. Five crack, that's a discard. Five crack, five crack. You can't chow from the player to your right. You can only chow from the player on your left. So they can't take that five crack. Three dot. Drawing four west, north, not helpful. We're gonna discard north. And we're gonna, they can't take it up here. We're gonna draw four west. One crack, okay, finally now they're cleared to a half flush. Let's get rid of that seven bam. And now we can draw four north. Now north, they could, they could chow that, but they still need a pair. I think I would rather wait and keep these as pairs because if we chowed that, we would still need to pair up. You gotta have four sets and a pair. We're gonna stay put. Four crack, that's a discard. We're gonna draw four east. Eight bam, that's a discard. And we're gonna pung, pung four north, pung. And now we can discard the north. So they're ready to win on a two bam. And there's one out right now. One out in a discard, but there's one out in a chow, so there's only two more left. We're gonna draw for east. Seven bam, that is a discard. And that's Mahjong. Did I miss a Mahjong earlier from west? They got lucky if that's the case. Mahjong, I might have missed a seven bam earlier. I don't remember. Okay, we'll have to check that out. So here's their Mahjong. They have, um, let's put the pair over here so I can show you their pretty half flesh. And they have their seat flower. They have a two flower, pung of east, pung of south, it is the east wind of the round. So they're gonna get three fawn for a half flush, which is one suit with winds and dragons. They'll get an, another fawn for the wind of the round as in a pung. This is their seat. This is player one, east, player two is south. They have a pung of their seat uh, wind. So that's a fawn also. So that would be three, four, five, plus their seat flower, that's a six fawn hand, which is actually a really nice scoring hand. This player was ready on a four bam or a five bam. This player was ready on a two bam. This player had a ways to go. 
potential Peng, potential Chow. Here's a Chow or a pear, potential Peng. Yeah, they had they had a lot long way to go there. If you haven't learned how to play Mahjong yet, look below the video for the lesson playlist. And there's a link there for you to download the player reference to help you with scoring. It's a great version, easiest to learn. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell. If you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.